The United Nations recognizes that the mobile landscape is rapidly expanding and offering great opportunities. This ranges from different innovations that have empowered young people to make informed choices about their health and relationships. This is probably one of the best models that explains why uh, these type of services are very much needed for young people. And, uh, we, need, we need to highlight this model for the rest of the country and that's why I'm very encouraged by what the, man, the presenter of the Ministry of Health mentioned, that this could be replicated in uh, all the country. Maybe it's not at the same size, but even a youth corner where you can all deliver these services for young people. And it's part of uh, creating this space and this service. Ahmed Al Hendawi made the remarks while a new technology application known as the Youth Hackathon 2015 was launched. The application brings together young people from around the world to report cases of domestic violence. Confidentiality, that is the confidentiality when accessing health services is uh, is a critical uh, is a critical issue for young women, young men, young girls, young boys. And my question is, what can we do to have access to youth-friendly services and information on sexually reproductive health rights privately? I mean, privately. Ensuring that this is fully implemented, the United Nations General as Envoy Ahmed Alindawi visited Nagulu Teenage Health and Information Center and promised to work with the organization in all aspects so that they can promote their endeavors as explained by the executive director of the center. My visit to, to Nagoya Center is to acknowledge the important work that uh, they have been doing and uh, supporting uh, access to uh, youth-friendly services uh, to young people, uh, tackling the issue of uh, teenage pregnancy and the issues of uh, HIV AIDS. I think uh, um, Uganda has made important progress, uh, particularly over the past uh, uh, years in, in uh, fighting te in, in teenage pregnancy. But uh, certainly we still have uh, much work to do. The United Nations is committed through its uh, different agencies and operations in Uganda. This is over, over 30,000 young people in a, in, in, in a year. That is a very big number of young people who, it shows that there is a demand for these services. Unfortunately, um, I must say the space the human resource, the burnt power, the drugs and supplies are not quite out, uh, adequate enough to serve all these young people. So we call upon the ministry, government in particular, to ensure that every government health facility in Kampala and in Uganda at large has services that are youth friendly, service providers that are youth friendly. Young people demonstrated the life that they go through as young mothers who are either raped or forced into marriages by their relatives.